Back so soon? Alethea, I know I wasn't gone long in the Animus, but I couldn't wait. I've been thinking about whether or not I should let you continue. And I have my answer, but I'm afraid you won't like it. Don't tell me I can't go into the third simulation. I'm sorry, Layla. I made a miscalculation, and I factored you in when it was a mistake to do so. I see that clearly now. It's time for you to leave Atlantis. You can't do this. Not now! I've seen Elysium and the Underworld. You can't take that away! If I'd known this reality would go the direction it did, you wouldn't have seen any of it. You're too human. Your DNA has succumbed to the corrupting nature of the staff. Listen, I know the bleeding effect is real, and accessing Themos's memory did affect me. But I've studied Isu artifacts. This is the last stage of my trials. When it's over, my DNA will be able to overcome the staff's control. Perhaps. But you won't see that through. My simulations are closed to you. I'm really sorry, Alithia. For everything up until now. You had such high hopes for me. I did, yes. But that was my own fault. I should never have let you go down this path. No, that's the thing. You were right. You saw something in me that... that I'd be the one to bring balance. And I still can if you let me. Even if I were to let you in, your doctor is dead. If I could take that back, I would. But I can't. And I have to keep going. From her calculations, your body wouldn't be able to withstand the simulations. My body is fine. The staff kept Cassandra alive for thousands of years. I've got a protection guarantee. Your mind is a different story altogether. You don't have the sense to see its degradation. When you break it down, this staff heals, Alethea. I could come out of this smarter. More in control. Invincible. That's quite a leap in logic. Just let me see for myself. Please. Go. Oh my god, thank you. You won't regret this. Here we go. I'll see you inside. Enough! No need to shout. This isn't your domain, brother. Hey, this has nothing left to offer you. You are never meant to stay here, nor release you. You didn't belong on Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. Anywhere is better than here. I won't forget this. There's no need for that here. You're safe. I've heard that before. This place isn't like any other you've been. There's no Persephone, no Hades. Just you. Just me. The Castis Vasilevs, the grand adjudicator of all Atlantis. But to you, I am Poseidon. What I'm offering you, Keeper of the Staff, is a place at my side. Join me as my Ligastis. Atlantis. I mean, it's intact. I, th I thought this city was destroyed. Every seven years, our great city begins a new cycle, if judged to be imperfect. 
And who's the judge? Before your arrival, it was my decision alone. Now that I have you at my side, I intend for this cycle to last an eternity. If you're the Dikastis Vasilevs, you expect me to be... Dikastis, the judge. Be my hand in laying and enforcing judgment in Atlantis. Well, I must warn you that I'm not always right. I was both surprised and encouraged by your actions in the underworld. Fortunes were exchanged in response to your choices. But trust that I learned your reverence to justice is true. Hades must have told you about my staff. He didn't have to. As is the way with all heroes, your journey has become the staff of Atlantean legend. Then you know my staff is the reason I'm here. I need to learn how to master it. This land is a paradise of power for those with Isu devices. But all in good time. So you expect me to live among you? A home among gods? Gods? We are much more than the human conception of gods. Your father called us the ones who came before. But as Alithia told you, we are the issue. You know about my staff, Pythagoras, and Alithia? I'm starting to feel very watched. Your trials in both Elysium and the Underworld? No, your triumphs there are known to us. My trials forced me into rebellion. They made me face the dead. My hardships make me a good Dicastis? We don't always choose our path. But in this case, your blood shows for you. You possess both DNA strands. The best of humans and Isu. I have no doubt that you are our mutual future. It's an honor. Where do I start? Humans have five senses to understand the world around them. We have been blessed a sixth. Knowledge. Ah, no! It is not merely your vision of the ego. The essence of that sense sleeps now. But it can be awoken in Atlantis. Your stuff is more than a key. It's a bridge between who you are now and who you must become. And if I fully awaken this sixth sense, I'll have mastered the staff? That and more! Come, let me show you. I accessed power sources in Elysium and the Underworld. They helped my knowledge, I think, but they haven't changed my senses. In Atlantis, you'll find the sources that awaken your new sense much more concentrated. Not only will your knowledge grow here, but it will thrive. You'll find three such sources once you leave this palace. You know them as Keeper's Insights. Doesn't look like anyone can get through. It's blocked to those who haven't full access to our knowledge. Find the source of that knowledge within this palace. Try to pass through once you do. Now I know what you meant about the sources being more concentrated. I feel different. Many things are different here in the Castis. You'll discover that in time. Atlantis awaits you. I have one rule that is absolute. Our technology cannot be used on my human civilians. Their bodies cannot withstand the power. They used to know this above all. So, I'm free to go? What task should the Dicastis do first? Even Atlantis is not a perfect society. It yearns for balance. So be that balance. Then when your role as guide to the people is fulfilled, it may well be perfection. Don't worry. You've already earned my respect, which is a trial in itself. Dicastis, 
His Eminence Atlas humbly requests that you join him at his doma to discuss a matter of grave importance. Right. I'll make sure to stop by. Arrived. I'm honored that the Castis would accept my humble request. Ah, your atlas, I take it. In the flesh. I thank you for coming to see me. I'm sure you're very busy. The burden my father gave you is not a light one. I seem to have a lot to do around here, thanks to Poseidon. But if I can help, I will. A noble pursuit. As my messenger stressed, the situation is dire. The Vicastis is just who I need. Well, here I am. It's my brothers, the Archons. They have issues with the human populations under their control. Tensions between Isu and humans are mounting. Without order, the problems will grow severe. I'll try and use my position to help them where I can. Find Hadiros, Amphiris, and Azeas. Through your shining example, I hope they learn the valuable lessons in discipline they so desperately need. And if I help them, you're hoping it'll maintain the peace between Isu and humans. That's the plan. Poseidon should have known they weren't ready for the responsibility an Archon bears. But that's his failing. Tell me about Raviros. You'll find him near the arena, hard at work planning his next exhilarating spectacle, I'm sure. What should I know about Amphiris? He's probably off terrorizing people near the fortified Doma of Ochtonos. Make sure you don't sneak up on him. He's quite jumpy. What about Azais? Who is he? You'll find dear Azais wherever there is humanitarian work to be done. I heard there were some issues near the Doma of Amphiris. We have Archons where I'm from. Do they fulfill the same duties? They are charged with overseeing and ruling the humans of Atlantis. Ensuring all live comfortably and peacefully, a job at which I fear they're failing. There always seems to be unrest between the two races. The Underworld and Elysium were no different. Time passes and tensions keep building. I expected my father to handle it. But Atlantis grows steadily worse, and no one wants to see what could happen if precautions are not taken. I'll find the Archons, and make sure their problems are taken care of. <clears throat> Is a physician and an Archon? What have I missed? What must I do? Zeiss? You have your hands full. Vikastis, you're a welcome sight. The only one I've had in some time. So many sick. I'm surprised anything can spread in a place as advanced as this. Oh, it's shocking. Nothing I have tried will cure the sick or stop the pathogen spreading. I've lost so many already. When did you first notice people were getting sick? At the start of this cycle. It began quite slowly and I didn't think much of it. But then the cases grew rapidly day by day. The more that fell sick, the faster the pathogen spread. You seem really worried. Have you ever seen a sickness like this before? No. There are many odd phenomena during this cycle. Plant dying, strange insects, and animal attacks. I worry about what this could signify. Don't worry. We'll find a way to stop the sickness. Tell me what you need. Well, there was a device being worked on by a scientist named Consus. Its intention was to rapidly heal injuries and eradicate disease. Was? His device is missing. Scientists here have tried to replicate it based on the schematics, but it's still in the experimental phase, and it hasn't been tested on humans. So it may not work. That's not the biggest issue. Poseidon has outlawed the use of our technology on humans. I fear that if we don't act quickly, the pathogen will spread across Atlantis. If you think this healing device can help the sick, then I'll make sure that you have it. 
the wisdom of an issue, but the compassion of a human. You were a good choice for the Gustis. You'll find the device in one of the issue laboratories in the Consus archive. I've brought the, uh, glowing cloth you've asked for. It's a nanotech matter regenerator, in fact. But you have it. I can't believe it. Now then, let's see what this thing can do. What the fuck did you do? I thought I had calibrated correctly. Oh no, what have I done? I killed this poor human. The device doesn't work and you stole it against Poseidon's laws. What do we do now? This device is your only chance of stopping the sickness. You need to keep trying. Yes, you're right. Not trying will just mean more innocent lives are lost. I think if I make some adjustments, I can get it to function on humans correctly. Everyone seems to be looking much better. Well, almost everyone. The device still needs work, but it has incredible potential. Poseidon won't be happy that we broke his law, but I'm glad you were the one to do it and not me. In any case, I'm eternally grateful for your help. Thank you. Want to tell me what that was all about? No. I'll be fine. The Castis! You can make this all go away! My name is Lyra, and you're... you! You've helped so many people. You're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! Enough! I don't like whatever it is you're doing. Forgive me, it's just that your being here confirms all the legends. You're real! To be face to face with you right now, it's... Sorry. They called you a murderer. You don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family. They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't live with myself, I swear. Please, please clear my name. You said something about other murders. This was the third time. I just don't understand why they blame me. I, I don't have the stomach to do that. Where were you when the family was murdered? If it happened last night, like they said, I, I was here trying to sleep. Although, lately it's been restless, filled with strange dreams. It's always the same one, over and over. Were you alone? Well, yes. I've been so tired lately, I decided to stay in. I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road. Uh, not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. You truly are a great de Castis. Maybe someone around here saw what happened last night. Ah, the great Vigastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? I I've said enough. I understand your hesitation, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure whoever or whatever did this is punished. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra? You agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. Is this about what happened last night? 
How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it too. Its howl will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. These footprints struck the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. These aren't stamp prints. They're claw marks. This bloodied cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. Well, did you find out what happened? The evidence I found was conflicting. Tell me. Two people saw what happened. One woman heard a wolf howling. But a man said he saw you, covered in blood and leaving the family's house. He's lying! Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, Dicastis. Whether it was a wolf or something else, it's clear it wasn't you. Of course it wasn't, but why would someone make it seem like I'm the murderer? We'll figure that out together. After I kill the beast. You're going to kill it? What other choice is there? Do you want another mob after you? No, of course not. I've just always hated the killing of animals. If I don't kill it now, it will kill someone later. I have a friend who can keep me safe while you end this. To find the beast and kill it before it grows bloodthirsty again. It was me! What am I? I've seen this before. A minotaur, a cyclops, a Horon. All were humans possessed by powerful issue devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow you're different. I don't remember coming here. Or why? I had to guess. That side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me? I've had dreams lately of being in the bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me, wasn't it? If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? Of course I wouldn't. There are always answers. How could that be? It feels so... permanent. It's only one part of you. It's not all of you. I know what it's like to be part human and part something else. Trust me, you can live with his burden. I'm not as strong as you are! Look at yourself. Yes, you are. You're stronger than you think. Plus, I've been thrown off a cliff before. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, but you're still here. 
I am. And you are too. You're right. Now that I know what's inside of me, I can do something about it. And I know who can help. Thank you. Seems like a strange place to find an Archon. Ah, oh, the Castis! Thank the stars! I was beginning to lose all hope! Atlas said you needed help. You don't understand the responsibility on my shoulders. It's my job to concoct entertainment for the masses. But I fear the crowd have grown bored of my grand spectacles! I've seen some good plays. And some bad ones. We need more than a simple play. If the audience leave my shows bored and restless, who knows what they'll start plotting? You think they'll become violent? My purpose is to keep them preoccupied so they can't be violent. Trying to distract people from their problems will only work for so long. I misspoke. I've seen what these humans are capable of, given the chance. I'm not distracting them, merely keeping them happy. So give the people what they want. What they want, yes. Yes! I can hear the cheers now! The legendary Dicastis Cassandra takes on Atlantis's finest warriors! You must take part in my next event! Sounds like a Bangration. I can definitely help with that. Not exactly. But I was inspired by your efforts in Elise. I know you'll do an exemplary job entertaining the crowds as you did then. If we pull this off, we'll be the talk of the city! It's worth a try. Welcome one! Welcome all to yet another Toronto show here in our beloved city! Tonight we have a very special guest! The Dicastis of Atlantis is here to entertain you! Our hero's first talents come from the world of Atlantis itself. This is definitely not a Pangration. Our valiant hero's next challenge fast approaches. A champion bested by none in the city. No mercy, no guilt. Will this be too much for even the Dicastis to overcome? has been bested! Our mighty Dicastis is victorious and the crowd have spoken! But will she show mercy or will she spill the blood we want? If you don't appease the crowd, I fear what Gadiros will do. It was an honor to fight you, Dicastis. You don't deserve to die just for losing. Our merciful Dicastis has passed judgment, but do not dismay! Our champion lives to fight another day for you, the audience. And here we are, the end of today's event. Next to face our Dicastis' judgment, the very scum that taints our city. By the gods, what is this? For the good of Atlantis, today bear witness to the guilty and condemned given one final chance at redemption. They will be honored to die at the hands of our guest. Enough! I am not doing this! Mm. Uh, fear not, friends! We will make sure justice is delivered. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster. You said fight, so I fought. The problem is that I didn't say fight! I said be as entertaining as possible. This won't help the relations between your people. The humans will see what's going on eventually. The games have failed. The humans are restless and it's only a matter of time before they make their own entertainment. Their hunger for violence is insatiable. You just need to keep surprising them. Think like a human, not an issue. That's what I tried to do. 
But you showed the criminals mercy, and the crowd reacted as I expected. Killing people who can't defend themselves isn't entertainment, it's slaughter. Their sacrifice helps us keep the peace and maintain order. Or it would have if you played along. What are you saying, Radiros? That my grand experiment has failed. There's nothing left to be done but start again and try for better results. The arena must be cleared! Ah, the Castis. I heard you can help me with the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? I don't know anyone named Minerva. Her students are so small-minded about my photosynthesis accelerator. If you want to be a scholar, why follow such a rudimentary doctrine? Look, do you need something from me? Oh, apologies, De Castis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. case it's done. <sighs> that doesn't seem good. What happened? I moved your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Uh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. Oh no, something's wrong with the photons? Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. N never mind the photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should... Oh... Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... <sighs> it's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Looks like Neocles was right. There is no rock here. <gasps> hey! Stop right there! Get back here! <sighs> What's the Dicastis doing running around here? I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neocles' rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neocles has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neocles' device and we'll fix the flowers. This is... 
isn't Neoclesis' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you! You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. The project Neocles is working on is important for the future of Atlantis. Hand over the rock. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you. This will propel Atlantis' sustainability forward by centuries. All those cynics like Melita will see the progress eventually. Just be careful. It sounds like your theory could still use some work. This is the right course of action for all of Atlantis, de Castis. Trust me. Please, do me the honor of returning the stone to the device. Gardens will be healed in no time. That must be Amphiris. Why so many guards? Let her pass. Amphiris, if this is how you treat humans... I can see why you need so many guards. These aren't humans. They are animals. An animal should be in cages. Dead bodies of civilians outside, a tortured corpse at your feet. The only animal I see around here is you. A human did this to me while I slept. When they came to kill me, I survived. But they slaughtered my daughter like an animal. Humans don't act with logic or reason. Good or bad, they are driven by a will to survive. A trait we implanted to ensure efficiency. But that will become a kindled flame of insurrection. You led a rebellion yourself in Elysium. So I know you understand. If we don't act, the city will burn and many more lives will be lost. I don't see an army marching on Poseidon. This one said they plan to launch an attack. Someone needs to destroy the resistance before that happens. That's not a small request. Despite what you think, all humans aren't a threat. It is the only path I see. But you are the Dicastis. Only you can choose the correct course of action. Killing people will just make the fire spread faster. Now, if we destroy their supplies and their weapons, they can't oppose the issue. I admire your optimism, but I fear it would not be enough. However, it's your decision to make. Just leave it to me. I'll send a message they won't forget. Very well. You'll find the traitorous humans at an abandoned farmstead. Return to me when the situation is resolved. Resistance if they have no supplies. The Castis. I'm glad to see you return safely. I almost considered sending a regiment of my guard after you. That would have been overkill. You can never be too careful when dealing with violent humans. Come, 
Tell me, has the resistance been quashed? I destroyed their supplies and equipment. You believed you saved lives by being merciful. But the truth is that more will die in the end. I promise you, they're no threat. You underestimate them. Yes, you've taken their means of striking now. But they would regroup and find more weapons. All you have done is delay the inevitable. Welcome back! I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the Underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded. You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order? For peace? For Atlantis? For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Vicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Once Poseidon finds out what you've done, he won't let you get away with it. That is our way. The way of progress. You are not one of us. I've seen your compassion to those who dwell in this city. Perhaps our ways are not as perfect as Poseidon thinks they are. Parents do what they think is best. But it doesn't mean they're always right. We have to look after each other, no matter what we're told. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision... for the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. The city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Nikastis. And for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. 